Hey guys and welcome to Natural Aesthetics. So it's the 8th of April 2014 and I'm going to explain to you where I've been um, and what I've been up to for the past three weeks. Um, I'm not going to go into too much depth um, just because I don't know entirely uh, what's happened. But basically it started um, after this session, this particular session, um, these video clips were recorded three weeks ago on Monday. Um, and I take took a pre-workout supplement prior to training called um, Napalm Extreme by Fitness Authority and then things started to go downhill um, very quickly. I had three days, um, three or four days where I was feeling extremely jittery, I had no sleep, um, very shaky and weak. Um, then I noticed that my right side um, uh, this 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 really started immediately after the training session and after taking this. I um, mean, it just got worse through the days. Um, but the right side had become very warm, fuzzy, and uh, not numb, just dull. Um, but uh, I had no um, sense of temperature on that side. I then noticed that the left side had become a little bit weaker. I put this down at first to a shoulder injury that um, had sort of been niggling me um, over the previous weekend. I had a massage on that and I thought perhaps um, maybe a, a nerve was uh, trapped or something. It'll probably just wiggle its way out within a day or two. However, this was not the case and it got worse. Um, got some blood tests done um, on Friday. Um, over the weekend, it got worse on my left side. Um, my hand had become very clumsy and uh, unable to do fine movements. Um, you know, like do your shoes up or... Um, uh, hold a fork and whatnot. Very, very weak. Um, so on Monday, um, got the results, and the results were okay. Um, however, the symptoms were still there, and the doctor um, sent me to A and E, um, and there I stayed for a week. Um, at first, they tested out. Um, they, they thought it was a stroke because the symptoms were so similar. Um, so I was in the acute stroke ward um, to start with. And uh, they did a CT scan, a head and neck MRI. Um, it was all clear. So then after that, they did a uh, back MRI, and they found some nerve inflammation. Um, and then they did lumbar puncture and full blood work to determine uh, why this nerve inflammation um, was there. At the same time, they also did some research and found out one of the ingredients of this pre-workout can cause nerve inflammation. So it could have been that. It's not ruled out, um, and I'm still awaiting the results now. Most of the results are in, and they're all clear. There's still a few that are still pending. Um, they had to send off to different hospitals and whatnot, different units, and I'm still awaiting those, um, and hopefully get those soon so that I can you know, really clear up what it is um, and, and know in my head um, you know, what caused it. But I'm still unsure. Um, they haven't ruled out this pre-workout. I'm feeling much better now. Um, I had my first session yesterday um, in the gym and I trained shoulders and arms. My left side is still just a fraction weaker. I mean, for everyday stuff, it's fine. It has been for like a week. Um, you know, most people probably wouldn't even notice it's different. It's just because I'm so aware of it because I lift weights and I've done for so long that I can tell. Um, it just feels just a tad weaker, um, but it's enough to make a difference, you know. Um, but the rate is progressing, and you know it has been improving every day um, uh, since I was um, put in hospital, really. Um, so I don't see any reason why I won't be back to full strength on my left side um, by the end of the week, or, or perhaps next week. Um, obviously, I've lo lost strength overall. You know, having not trained for three weeks, um, one of the weeks was I was bedridden, you know, um, on hospital food. Which is okay to be fair, um, but you know, it's not a lot of it compared to the amount of food that I was consuming before. So I've, I've lost a little bit of muscle. Um, you know, people keep saying to me I still look, you know, okay, I, I still should compete and whatnot, but you know, you know yourself um, where you are. And uh, obviously, three weeks of no training, you're going to lose. Um, more importantly, the, the strength in some of the big compound lifts that are so important um, when you start cutting um, as a natural lifter, so vital. So regarding competition, I'm still unsure. Um, I'm erring on the side of, of not doing it this year um, because this has really set me back and uh, I don't want to compete unless I'm better. 
than last year. And I'm bettering these pictures that you're looking at now. Um, and I felt like three weeks ago, prior to the, um, this, you know, this incident, yes, I was in a great position. Um, I was really confident. I was bigger, and a lot stronger. But at the moment, you know, I've I've lost that sort of five ten percent of strength I gained over the winter. So you know, really, what's the point? I could compete. I could get ripped. Um, you know, I could get very very ripped, even leaner than last year. But I want to see progress. I want to be bigger and I'll be more impressive. So I'm probably going to bulk and continue to bulk until next year and really push for the uh, pro card next year's summer. So um, one thing it has taught me this this um, incident is. It's really opened my eyes up uh, regarding my lifestyle. You know, I don't smoke and I don't drink and I don't do drugs. Yet there are aspects of my life that are extremely unhealthy. Um, most notably, too much work, too much stress, too much importance and emphasis placed on work and striving to be successful. You know, because I'm so driven, that's just me. Um, but it's sort of gone overboard. Um, I was doing too much work, more than I could handle, and it was. Um, Although I was blinded at the time by it, I was having it was having negative effects on uh, my health. You know, I was relying more and more on caffeine to get me up early every day. I was taking you know pre workouts occasionally to go through sessions when I, I never needed this stuff before. You know, I was always up for it and ready, um, felt fresh. Um, but then, like I said, as you're striving to become successful, it, it almost overtook me completely. As, you know, if I had a spare half hour or hour. I would think um, I'd be wasting time unless I'd be do, doing something productive with work and stuff. But there are other things um, to life as well, you know. Um, you have to have that balance to maintain that quality um, and your health. You have nothing without your health. And, and landing in hospital for a week has made it really, really clear that, you know, w at the end of the day, what's another hundred quid a week when you don't have time to enjoy it or you don't have the health to enjoy it, you know. It's just ridiculous. Um, you know, and at the, at the time you sort of become blinded to it because you're so driven and caught up in the idea of becoming successful and doing the things you want to do, which, yeah, you still have to do, and I still am going to do, but not at the expense of other areas of my life, you know, spending more time with my family, spending more time chilling out, relaxing, and, and think as well, doing the things I enjoy doing, like even training. Before I was training at times that I really didn't want to train that because, you know, I was too busy um, at peak times and stuff um, and, and almost rushing sessions to get them done before my next client, um, which is just ridiculous. You know, these things, training is what I love and, you know, if I want to train three hours a day, then so be it, you know. Um, I'll make time for that. I'm not going to put everything... Um, you know, in the back seat, just to allow myself to push for success in in business and stuff. When at the end of the day, it doesn't mean anything if you don't have your health um, and the time to enjoy it. So that's definitely a lesson learned for me. So whatever this, you know, regardless of what it is, whether this pre-workout has caused these um, this this problem that I've had, um, I don't know. Um, but however the doctor did find an ingredient in it that caused nerve inflammation um, and I did feel very very jittery and weak from this pre-workout for about four days after um, but I'm just awaiting to uh, see the final results and to determine whether this, this weak left side and this lack of um, temperature on the right side with the nerve inflammation has been caused by the pre-workout or not fingers crossed it is, I don't want it to be anything else um, but we will see, I'll keep you updated guys, thanks for watching Stay tuned for more. More videos will be um, coming. I'm back into training mode now and enjoying it um, and looking forward to uh, progressing. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.